Universe Philippines. Hello, Bella. Hello, Bella. Hi. Hi, Adam. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, let me know if I'm lagging. Ah. So, how are you, Bella? Um, I'm good. Uh, it's been quite busy since the finals night, which is good, of course. I'm very glad. Um, but I'm doing pretty well, you know. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying so much. Has it sunk it yet that you almost won the title? Na meron ka ng first runner-up placement again. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it has. It sunk in na talaga, especially because recently, for the first time in my life, I experienced somebody approaching me and asking me, "Oh my God, are you Miss Paranaque? Can I take a photo with you?" <laughs> like, okay, sure. You know, it was, it, this is my first experience ever, and I think that's really when it sunk in that, "Oh my goodness, I actually, you know." I have a title and I have an achievement that makes people recognize me. So it's really cool. And she even said that she recognized me because of my tattoo. So I love that. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, but do you find it a uh, coincidence that you're first runner-up again? Then, you know, Century 2 na Super Bots, you're first runner-up. So far, oh, wow. wow! With that, I think... I mean, honestly, I'm very happy talaga. in both scenarios, in both Century Tuna and Miss Universe Philippines because I wasn't really expecting, you know, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. Rather. I really didn't know what to expect. I, all I know is that I did my best. And in the end of the day, you, you have to realize that after all your hard work, you have to trust that the universe will put you where you deserve it. So maybe this year wasn't my time yet. And I'm, I'm really okay with that. I, I'm, I'm happy with it, honestly. I'm glad that I'm first runner up. For sure, may nakalaang title yun sa yo in the near future. You just have to, <laughs> you know, wait it out further. Siguro yun yun destiny mo. But you know what, Bella? Before we start, can we greet a lot of people who are tuned in right now? Um, Carillo Garcia is watching. Hi, Queen Bella. Leo De Leon says. Hi, Mary hi, Joy hi. is saying, "You are so gorgeous, Queen Bella." Thank you. Sending love. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Th guys, thank you for tuning in if you have questions. So, Bella, I must say, grabe talaga yung mga paandar mo. Nung Miss Universe Philippines pageant, yung arrival photos mo sa Holiday Inn, all the way till the finish line, you really gave us a feel na as if you were already competing for Miss Universe. Alam mo, yun yung hot pink, yung hot, wait, like, where's that? Yung hot pink. PPE suit mo nung arrival photo mo. Sobrang, alam mo yon. pinag-isipan mo rin ba yon na ito? Super! Um, for this, Whose choice well, was that? I mean, it was so relevant. All, yeah, first of all, you know, I, I'm very thankful to have such a creative team. You know, the camp and everybody that has been supporting me, the designers, they are really the brains behind all of my looks. Of course, syempre, in the end, it's a team effort to complete all of that. But yeah, that, that PPE was designed by Kliza Behasa. She's the designer. And, you know, I really love this particular PPE because, of course, it's, it's safety, safety first. But at the same time, it's so fashionable. And the color is actually representative of my journey because that is the color that I chose in the beginning to represent me and my my followers, my ballerinas. So it was so nice to be able to wear that on the first day of the, you know of the official last part of the competition. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Actually, I was wearing it the whole day, and at one point I was already in the hotel room, but I still didn't want to remove it because I wanted to take pictures and all of that. So there. So I'm very thankful. I'm glad that I was able to represent that and that it made its mark. Wait. All right. So hi everybody. I will look at some of your comments and I'll say hi to you guys. So hi Gian Castro, Sir Rodriguez. Hi Ashley Garcia. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Thank you for joining us in this morning's interview. Um, so going back, Adam asked me about the pink PP. So are you on? So. I love that color in specific because it's really representative of the ballerinas. I chose that color and, you know, that's that's something that's really special to me because from the beginning pa lang, that was the color already. So I like that I started my final or final leg for Miss Universe Philippines with that color because, you know, I wouldn't have been able to reach that point without you guys. You guys have been a solid 
support system that has been pushing me through the pandemic to get to the finish line of Miss Universe Philippines. So I'm really thankful that you guys are there for me. And that, me wearing that color um, is kind of my way of saying that you guys are with me through everything. I take you guys with me by my side as I take every step on the stage, on what, wherever, wherever, um, journey that i was going towards so during the during the pageant so thank you guys um and i love that you guys are still so supportive to this day i'm so thankful for that um it's been great and so far i've i've been i've been enjoying a lot so thank you so much i, I love you guys <laughs> okay let's see what else you guys are saying Lilo D said, I love your twirls. Thank you. You guys are so creative. It's so funny how you guys have been. I've been seeing your videos of the tornado twirl and you guys are so galeng. Ang galeng nyo. Some of you are even wearing super high itch heels. Oh my goodness. Ang galeng nyo. I love you guys. You guys are so creative. Um, who else? Rexel de Peralta. Hi. Renz Jerome David. Hello. Ben Andrew Cruz. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lola. Hope you're doing well. Miss Nakita. Who else? Dale Miguel. Hi. Emma Nunoza. Hello, Bella. Our ikot ikot queen. <laughs> Hope to dress you up someday. I am a fashion design student. But oh my goodness, yes. You know, I've I've been working with so many different designers, young veterans, and it's been that's one of the things that I loved about being a part of Miss Universe Philippines because I really get to meet so many different artists, makeup artists, hairstylists, designers, stylists, photographers, videographers, even the production teams. It's so amazing because grabe the way you guys can come up with so many different things and it reminds me of how diverse we are. It's it's beautiful. And I love that, you know, me as an artist, as a ballerina, I love that we can all collaborate and create beautiful things. So that's one of the things that I've been really thankful for. Hello, Nicole Hilario. Hi. Hi, Troy Gonzalez. Uh, who else? Who else is here? Gavin <laughs> Damanyo. Abish Elesor. Estuaria Mercado. Hello. Which one is your favorite gown? The blue one or the nude one? Um, actually, the other one was pink. I actually really love both. It's so hard to choose between the two. Um, both designs were created, both both gowns were designed by Ferdinand, and I'm very thankful to him for dressing me and for his entire team for helping me come up with those concepts. Um, the, I, I, can't, I really can't choose, you know? I really love both because the pink one, it's more regal, it's more, you know, it's, it's, exudes class and i love that about it plus pink is one of my favorite colors so it, it captured that light pink color that i really really loved and you know it's a typical pageant style dress but i also love the blue one because oh my goodness it was crazy beautiful it was so unique and when i wore it i really felt like i stood out you know not just the color but even the design the design was so unique you barely see a two-piece dress in a pageant and i love that i brought that to the stage and i'm very happy that you guys received it positively so thank you let's see what else <laughs> Kenzi Ong Paoko. Hi, Queen Lasan, who prefers blue. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're like my dad. My dad is also Lasalian. Just because I wear blue, Lasal pa din ako, animal. <laughs> Alex Alcatra, hello, Bella. Sending love from Cagayan Province. Hello, I hope you're doing well. You know, I hope everybody is doing well. Everybody in the Philippines, especially those who were hit by the recent typhoons. I hope you're all doing well and you know I'm sorry for any losses that you've had. I've had some friends also who are who have been hit by the typhoons and I just want to say that my heart's with you guys. My heart is with you guys and you know stay strong. You guys can do it. We're we're all here working together. Sending you guys all my love. Um Krisha May Jacinto, sinong roommate mo ate? My roommate was Miss Pangasinan, Nina Soriano. Um, alam mo, we got pretty close uh, during the pageant, but then we really bonded as roommates. Kasi we have so much in common pala. 
Tsaka sobrang bait niya, tsaka sobrang makwento siya. And I love that about her. She was so fun. She was so, she was such a supportive friend. And it was so fun being roommates with her kasi we were helping each other with our makeup and our hair and dressing up. So it was so much fun being roommates with her. And you guys should follow her because she has a vlog also on YouTube. Her name is Nina Soriano. Christian ko La Chica. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, Angel, my love. I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Hello, Sandy Gutierrez. Sending love from Paranaque. Hello, Laban Paranaque. Um, Ina Desiri El Mamawag. I hope I said that right. Hi, Bella. Are you going to join Miss Universe Philippines 2021? You deserve the crown. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be joining next year, but, you know, let's see where life takes me. Hopefully... In the near future, I'll be able to join again and get that crown. We don't know, but please just support me. I really appreciate you guys. And, you know, we'll just see where the universe takes me. <laughs> Hi from Nueva Ecija from Lito Ison. Ison, hello. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, Romel Santos Mandiñado. I think I said that right. I'm not sure. I love the pink in Bella because I felt like it made her stand out. The make of the gown was impeccably fitted to and for her. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Uh, so, oh, hi, Evo. How are you doing? Hi, Queen Bella. Sana may Zoom ulit ang ballerina soon. Hopefully soon. I'll schedule that. Mag Zoom meeting ulit tayo. So, you guys, if you're part of the Bella ballerinas group chat, we have a Facebook group also. Um, I there I was able to do a Zoom video with them recently, just uh, right before Baguio. So it's glad that I got to meet them. Sabi ko nga sa we can't meet in person because of the pandemic, but hopefully when this is all over, we'll get to meet soon. So I don't know what happened to Adam, but I'll just keep talking to you guys. <laughs> Who else? Um... Raimela Halili. Bella, ganda ng makeup mo po. Makeup mo. Please do a tutorial video for you today. Thank you. Um, today, actually, I opted for a little bit of a, you know, no lashes, no falsies, just a little bit of more simple makeup because well, you guys can see me more natural as, you know, as compared to the usual. No, no lashes, no falsies. Si Adam. Yes. More simple makeup. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Miss Margie. Hi, Hi. Can you hear me? Oh my God, she's here. <laughs> surprise. Hi, Hi guys. Um, this is my surprise to you. Um, Bella and I have been cooking this uh, because I love you guys so much. Um, her aunt, Miss Universe 1973, Margie Moran, is here in our house. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Margie. I'm Adam Henato po from Hey Adam G YouTube channel, pageant, uh, independent pageant blogger. It's so it's finally an honor to meet you po. Thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to be here too. And uh, Hi, with my niece, Bella. Hi. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> thank thank, you, thank you, Bella. For, thank you, Sir Chris. Thank you, Bella, for making this possible. Um, so let's go straight away to the questions, Miss uh, Margie. Do, you don't know how everyone is raving and jumping out of their seats right now because of their of <laughs> who they're seeing right now. So thank you, Miss Margie. Mm -hmm. My first question to you: um, How proud are you that Bella almost made it as Miss Universe Philippines last month? I'm very proud. I I told her that that to me because I'm her auntie and I'm biased. <laughs> she's my champion. She's still my champion. Whatever she does, what you know, uh -huh. I think whatever you uh, achieve is uh, your place at the right time at the right place. So you know, uh -huh. I'm at her place at, as first on her up, she'll have a lot of benefits and a lot of opportunities opportunities that can that will come her way. Yeah, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, alam mo, ang dami-daming similarities ninyong dalawa. I just realized this oh, now. Yeah, yeah. ma'am. Um, <laughs> kasi, she is competing in during, at the time of pandemic. You were Binibining Pilipinas. You joined Binibining Pilipinas 1973 when it was during martial law. Yes. So, ma'am, may mga parallelism. So, 
how how do you feel about it ma'am na may mga okay. ganun magkakahaling tulad po well uh, i don't know kung kung if there's anything that make 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 connection but uh, it's nice to know that that uh, she's also at the time when there's a, a great need or a great a lot of suffering among our people because of the pandemic so it's yes, also uh, an experience like you, you you just have to pray and see what what uh, what will happen like yeah. during my time when i had to make pila pa sa nbi to get a clearance to to travel you know like in, in really pila by oh, myself <laughs> in nbi because at that time everybody who needed to travel how to get their fingerprinted Yes, kasi ma'am, diba, there's a curfew, travel restrictions, so how 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 hard was it to prepare during that? Um, well, the restrictions are not like this, that you can't, you try to avoid Time contact off. with people, no? So, I mean, you still have contact with people. And it's not like today when you are well prepared, uh, you're, you you have training. Our, my training was because I was a model, and uh, I was also a dancer, like Bella. So I was prepared on my own way. I had my own uh, training, how to put makeup, how to comb your hair. Because uh, like Bella, she was also in a position where she had to do it herself because she couldn't bring anybody. And I couldn't trust the Greek makeup artists because they might make me look Greek. So <laughs> I had to learn how to put my false eyelashes on my own. And you know, at that time, you had to, to put two false eyelashes to make your eyes really bigger. That was the fashion then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I had to learn to do it on my own. To make we sure. all know how challenging false eyelashes can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I became an expert, but now I can't do that anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me also, Adam disappeared. But me also, that was one of my greatest challenges in terms of learning how to put my makeup on. And my, my ballet teacher, Erica Jacinto, was actually telling me, you should know how because during our shows, we put falsies. And I was just like, yes, but if you yes. remember, I always ask you to put my falsies. <laughs> <laughs> so she was laughing and now she's like, now you know how. Now you finally know how. <laughs> yeah, but now I can't do that because my, my eyesight is so poor. That oh. I can't, see, you know, see. I can't do it well. <laughs> and now, you know, during the during the pandemic, uh, you have to do your own makeup. You know, you, first of all, there's no place places to go to. There are no parties. There are no events. So, uh, and and things like this, these interviews, I would normally would have my makeup done. But since it's, everything is on online, I can just do it myself. That's true. Me also, Tita. Today, I also just did my own makeup. and But it's good practice, for me at least, because yeah. on days when, for example, if I have a guesting or something and they're min they're trying to minimize the people there, then I'm completely capable to do my makeup. So I'm, gl I'm glad that, you know, with Miss Universe Philippines, it, that was also training in some way. Yeah. Oh, there's Adam. Mom. <laughs> Yeah, ma'am, sorry, sorry. I my my, my in, forgive my internet connection. I have been lagging. So, ma'am, um, as you were saying, po, um, yung yeah, um, you have been, you have both, you both have been competing. Na may may para de desim. Tapos at the same time, um, pareho rin kayo press favorite po when you were competing, no 1973 yeah. and until now. So, ma'am, why do you think you you both stand out amongst a lot of beautiful ladies in the competition? Anong meron sa sa ang kaninyo that makes you always stand out, Bella and Miss Marchie? Uh, our ability to project ourselves uh, also because of our background, we're both uh, performers. So, you know, when you perform like in a theater, you must be able to capture the audience. So that's what they say, that's the X factor. And you have the personality. And I remember that there was this British lady, tourist I met in the hotel in Athens. And she came up to me and she said, you know what you have that's different from, other, from others? You've got class. Mm -hmm. yes. And I think Bella has it, uh, you know, that, that that dignified look and 
even in simplicity you can uh, project your your class mom how do you develop that class po bella how do you develop that class kasi alam mo this is one thing i like about bella eh. in trivia sa kanya she hasn't traveled with out of the country before pero the way she projects herself she has ila and she has class parang aristocrat ho yun dating ma'am parang how do you how do you get that kind of quality ma'am is it trainable when as young as as you are a kid ma'am i i think it's inborn inborn yeah, yeah. but i, I also think was, for yeah. me naman adam i think it's also how i was raised you know my, mm-hmm. my parents oh. raised me to know my manners, to know how to sit down, to know how to, you know, basic etiquette. And that was very helpful, I think, in how I've become, I guess, a classy woman, somebody who is elegant in everything that she does. And of course, the ballet helps a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of in there, you know. No mat- My friends always tell me, no matter what I'm doing, I look like I'm dancing mm-hmm. ballet because there's always so much grace in what I do. So it's mm-hmm. definitely the upbringing also. Yes, that's, that's really a, a, a large part of it. But sometimes um, there are those that don't have that upbringing, uh, mm-hmm. but they can carry themselves very well. And uh, that it's natural for them to, you know, to be able to, to carry themselves and the, the way they walk, the way they talk to people. It's uh, mm-hmm. some uh, have that that skill. It, it's a natural skill that, that's... I'm not saying I have it, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I see it in others. Eh? I see it in other women who can carry themselves so well, but they, they, you know, at first glance, they look ordinary. But then when you start conversing with them, they're really outstanding. And yes, also ma'am. for me, I think when I would say somebody has class, it starts with how they have respect for other people. So, yes. When you say somebody has class, it doesn't necessarily mean, oh, it's because she looks like she's Mayaman or anything like that. It's not really that. For me, it's it's because you have a good personality, because you have a good heart, and because you treat other people good as well. Yes. Mm. True. True, ma'am. Pero alam mo, ma'am, apo- yeah, I like what you both are saying. Pero apart from beauty, ma'am, Eloquence seems to be part of your of the Moran, Florendo, or Ismael <laughs> DNA as well. Because I remember, ma'am, nung time nyo, nung 1973, um, you were when you were competing in Greece. Yung pas lalo na hindi ka favorite ng judge na ang pangalan si El Cordobes. Pero when you spoke to him in Spanish, biglang na convert mo siya kaagad. You he was in, <laughs> suddenly enchanted by your beauty. So si Bella naman on the other hand has been slaying it from day one all the way to her, till her preliminary interview. So wow, talaga ma'am is eloquence. Give up gab part of the DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and how do we answer that? I think yeah, yeah. we're also just blessed with it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my dal dal. That's all it is. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Speech. Does it help? Does it help? Bapu? Does it help? Po ba talaga if a girl has to per, uh, has a personality in order to stand out in pageants like Miss Universe, Miss oh, Margie or Belle? Yeah, the, I I would think so. That the personality has to has to has to be projected uh, in a way that's natural and. Uh, and it comes also with presence. If you have the presence, the personality will speak. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hindi na talaga, so, hindi na talaga uh, enough yung beauty alone will make you stand out and win the crown. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that's uh, a major factor, of course, but uh, you'll have to, it has to be enhanced with the, the personality. Mm. Yes, I agree. And nowadays, there are so many beautiful women, you know. And so that was one. Yes. Of, I've talked about it before. That was one of my challenges in the beginning because coming into a pageant, I was thinking, okay, I have to shape myself into what people expect from a beauty queen. And then over time, I realized, no, the more myself that I am, the more I stand out, the more people appreciate who I am, the more they like me and they they see me. So. Now, I guess maybe there was a time when we were thinking we have to fit in, but nowadays it's actually we should stand out. We should do what we can to stand out. And that's really being ourselves. 
True, ma'am. No, pageants are really evolving. Yes, yes. Yeah, go, go and, ahead. And also, you don't you don't need to make so many movements to be able to stand out. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. What has been, Miss Margie? What has been the difference between the pageants before during your time and the pageants that you have been seeing now? The difference, um, for one, the, the girls are older, uh, so they're mm -hmm. more mature, which is a, a big plus factor. I was only 19 when I, when I joined, and I had to travel by myself because it's martial law. <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, and the other difference is the walk. Before yes. it was just so simple walking and turning. Uh -huh. <laughs> now it's, you know, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So, um, ma'am, how, uh, ma'am, 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 natutuwa po ba kayo na, you know, your niece, Bella Ismael, is following your footsteps as a beauty pageant title holder? And, um, kayo, nung bata po ba kayo, parang did you somehow parang try to influence her na, oh, ma'am, nasa halika ng beauty pageant kasi nasa pedigree natin yan, Miss Margie. No, I never influenced her. Um, she did. She that was. She did on her own. It was her dream. It was not my dream. That's for mm -hmm. one thing. I was just like dragged into it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's not my dream. I, and uh, but I am proud that she did it because at least then uh, continue yung ano yung the the I don't know if it's that legacy. Yeah. Well, um, you could say it's a legacy because our Lola, my Lola, was uh, was also a carnival queen. So it's it's in our line in the Gonzalez side of the family that uh, there are there are carnival queens. And you know, it's interesting, mm. Adam, because my national costume was inspired by the carnival queen. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. So are you paying Full tribute circle. to that? You're Wow, oh nga no, oh yeah. nga no. So may yeah. big, big connection pala. So going back to Miss Margie, kasi were you able to keep your photographs that Salvador Dali took of you during your time? Kasi no, you, you know, I did not. He kept it. <laughs> <laughs> kasi I heard he offered you, talaga po, I, kasi I heard he even offered to paint you back then. You know, I was only 19 and I was so stupid. <laughs> I, I, you know, he was my friend, and I didn't know how great he was, or he could, how great he, he would be even later. So uh, when he described to me how he wanted to paint me, like coming, he's just a surrealistic painter, and my and my idea of a <clears throat> of a portrait is uh, something more realistic that looks like me, not coming out from a wall. So I said, uh, okay. Um, we never pushed through with it, but I would always see him. He would take photos for me that came out in Ola. And, uh -huh. uh, so that, was, that was as far as our friendship went. But mm -hmm. he would always call me to, you know, when he's, he was in the hotel because we always stayed in the same hotel. I had, at that time, uh, it was in New York and it, it, we didn't have a condominiums. My, I stayed in a permanent suite in, in the, at the St. Regis Hotel. Oh. Yeah, I was so lucky. It was the only time ever that a Miss Universe stayed at the St. Regis Hotel. And that was the best hotel in New York. I've never been to that hotel. <laughs> but I've been to New York. Yeah, but mom, would you consider that as your most favorite moment during your reign as Miss Universe? Uh, moment? I had many moments, but it was very memorable for me. Uh, to yeah. to know Salvador Dali and he always took me with to watch concerts. We watched Tony Bennett when Tony Bennett was only uh, a lounge singer at the Saint Regis Hotel. Also, so um, yeah, I, I mean I've traveled all over the U.S. and South America, and uh, that was the those were the, the mem memorable occasions that I had. Um. Ma'am, what, what yung pagsulat sa inyo ni President Richard Nixon, would you also consider that memorable? <laughs> yes, uh, it was memorable in the, the letter was yeah, coming from a U.S. president, but it was also uh, he was at that time when he was he became infamous 
Mm-hmm. And uh, like maybe I was the only one congratulating. I was the only one praising him. <laughs> <laughs> at that time, because by the time I, I wrote, I that was a question in the application form in the Binibining Pilipinas that I never imagined it's gonna reach uh-huh. uh, the US. So, uh, yeah, so when I won, that was when it came out that you know that I found him one of the best persons in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I came out know- in the I was highlighted by the US press. <laughs> yeah, oh kasi ma'am talagang iba talaga yung ano mo yung demeanor mo talaga nan altang alta. Talaga the moment you set foot pa lang daw in Greece alone parang all the photographers were already in awe of your beauty. 'Di ba? <laughs> But ma'am at that um, time, they, didn't, they did not even know where the Philippines was at that oh. time. Wow. Oh. So they often <laughs> wondered, where is the Philippines? <laughs> So you, so in a way, you put our country back in the map, back in the pageant yes. map, so to speak. Right? <laughs> yes, yes, and in fact, that was why Imelda Marcos wanted the pageant in the Philippines the next year. Oh, but oh yeah, na gets ko naman to showcase our na to showcase that we are actually a country and that you know we're a country of beautiful people. So yeah, I. Yes. Get But ma'am, going back to Miss, uh, ma'am, Miss Margie, going back to Bella right now. Looking at Bella right now in Miss Universe Philippines last month, how much did you, how much input did you have as she trained? Did it relieve some memories while you were during your national pageant days? Oh <laughs> yes, it did. Um, although um, I did not train her at all. I did not. Uh, I I just gave her advice just a few days before the pageant. And uh, mm-hmm. what to expect, and and uh, and give her some moral boosting, mm-hmm. and, uh, and affirmations, and that was it. She, everything was on her own. Which helped what was a the most? Might I add? <laughs> yeah, tala- what lot. was the most? What was the most important advice you gave Bella? Po? That uh, she should use it as, as a stepping stone, whether win or lose that uh, opportunities might might come up and she should be just conscious of what what is best for her uh bella ikaw naman what's ano what advice from miss margie that you really took to heart na talagang na apply mo tapos it worked for you big time during mup it was it was that like what she said that you know win or lose that this is going to be helpful for you it's going to be beneficial and that No matter what, I should always be myself, and that's something that she's always told me. You know, even before in the past, when my family, for example, we'd have family events, and my dad would be like, "Margie, she's gonna join one day," you know, uh-huh. <laughs> and you know, and Tita Margie would always be like, "That's good if that's what you want." And she would always tell me, "But it's important that you should be yourself." So that's always something that I've applied, and especially because we were able to talk on the phone right before Baguio, right before I left for Baguio. And when she told me that, that's something that I kept in my mind every every single day until the finals. Oh, that's that's nice to hear, no? So in a way, hindi ka pala talaga na pressure na talagang you have to live up. Parang they just let you decide on your own. Na talaga, okay, I'm ready to join. I'm re- I'm ready to do this na. Uunay lo ako. So yeah. my next question <laughs> is for Miss for Miss Margie and for both of you. Uh, Mom, does it help ba na parang you start joining pageants at such a young age? Para well, in case like yeah. Well, like, during the time, during the time, everybody joined young, 19, 20, 21, you're already as an adult old. <laughs> time, to get, time to get married, you know. Uh-huh. We're talking about 45 years ago. Yes. So, so uh, before your guys were born. So you know, uh, during those days we married young. So uh, and uh, it was the also of the Alta Society that you joined the pageant, like the the Carnival Queen days. So uh, it was it was an advantage during that time. Mm-hmm. The reason why I ask this question is because you know, since first runner up was Bella ngayon, and she's only 24, so that gives her ample time again uh enough siguro time again to join if ever i mean to decide if ever she wants to join again 
So, ma'am, may sense din po ba yung pagsabi rin ng maaga? So, just in case you won't get the title that you like the first the first time, you can still try it out again. Do you believe in that saying po? Oh, what I believe is that if it's your time, it's your time. You can't, you have no control over what the judges will vote, who are joining the pageant. There are so many variables that you, it's not in your control. No matter how hard you try, if it's meant for you, if it is something that that is part of your uh, path of life that, that God has given to you, then you will you will have it. But if it's not really meant for you, then no matter what you do, there's no formula to winning a contest. And so you, you think will feel it. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, the person will feel that if things are going right, then uh, maybe that's 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 your path. So you think, ma'am, it's destiny. It is destiny, definitely. Any anything, even leadership, to be a leader is destiny. Mm, yeah, true, ma'am. Na para no matter how hard you work, hard, no matter how hard you work for something, pero if it's if luck or destiny, if it's not really fated for you to do it, then yeah. talagang wala, wala ka talagang magagawa, no, ma'am. Exactly. So do you believe that? Her, her destiny, Bella's destiny this year is to be first runner up, and she will find something as first runner up. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, gusto ko sumundot ng question pero later na lang. <laughs> pero do you also <laughs> regarding that sinabi niyo? Pero do you believe, uh, uh, Bella? Do you also believe in um, in what your tita said? Na parang it's all about destiny. Oh, definitely, definitely. Because you know, aside from what she said, that you know, it's really you can't you can't decide what the judges are going to think. You can't control that. Aside from that, it's also you know what they say: it's the sparkle that you have that night. If you're sparkling on stage on that night, if the universe puts that sparkle on you, then it's for you. If it's not, then it's okay. Because like she said, it's a stepping stone. You know, I've been I've taken the time to really. Um, really absorb that because I, I personally am quite the competitive type of person, but just within myself. So it's, I don't usually take, um, I don't take it easy when things don't turn out my way. But during this pageant, I realized, especially during the pandemic, I realized that you really have no control about what's going to happen. That's why it's been able to help me also thinking that, you know, in the end of the day, you can't control it. So in in a way, yes, it's it's really I believe in that, and it's something that helps you. It helps you accept what happens. It helps you move on, and it helps you perform in your best way. At least for me. No, so mom, do you think if it's if it's Bella's destiny to win first runner up this year, do you think uh, it's her destiny to win Miss Universe or to really follow your footsteps in the near future? Well, I, I would know, <laughs> but uh, it's 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 her destiny, not mine. So uh, if if she if it's something that she wants to do, she can try again. There's no harm trying. Nobody's nobody's stopping you. It's it's uh it's something that you want to do. Pero mami, tanong ako kung ikaw nung time mo 1973, you lost on your first try. Would you want to do it again? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so because at that time my father, my my dad didn't want me to join. So, so when I, and I and I joined behind their backs. I didn't tell them because my dad was in the provincia with my mama. At that time, walang cell phone, walang telepono. <laughs> so I asked my lola. I asked my lola. Uh, actually, because it was I was I was uh, asked to join by Oji Cordero, who was my couturier, and. Uh, he, uh, I had to ask my guardian, who was my lola, who I was living with uh, in a compound. And she was the carnival queen. Of course, she'll say yes. So that was mm -hmm. how I joined. And my dad said, when after I won, he said, buti na lang, you won. <laughs> so I wouldn't, if I lost, I wouldn't have that second chance to, to join. <laughs> 
<laughs> Buti na lang ma'am nanalo ka. <laughs> you know, ma'am, pero Bella, I'm curious to ask, how old when you found how old were you when you found out that you have an aunt for Miss Universe? Is your aunt really your inspiration to become a beauty queen? How old was I when I knew that she was Miss Universe? Yes. Um I was very young when I met her. <laughs> um, no, that's like a what? Excuse me. Okay. Ever since I was a little girl, my 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 parents, my aunt, my aunt Tita Rosie, she'd always say, "You're gonna follow in Tita Margie's footsteps," you know. <laughs> of course, what the family would always say. So of course, it was always in my head. But you know, it's so funny because I've told this story before. But the only time it really sunk in was when I joined this Universe Philippines because. Um, in in Bini Bini Paranaque back in 2014, Tita Margie came yes. to my finals to the coronation night, and everybody was like, "Oh my goodness, Miss Universe is here and all of that." And back then, I was thinking, "But she's my aunt, like, you know." Of course, in my head, yes, I know she's Miss Universe, but at the same time, she's here because she's my aunt. Until when I was in Miss Universe Philippines this year, and I realized, "Oh my goodness," that's when I really got starstruck. <laughs> I don't know why it took this long. But I guess because when you're really in it, that's when you realize not just the glamour of it, but even the hard work that it takes to become this universe. Uh, I'm very so proud. I'm very proud. <laughs> so having said that, so would you consider it a boon or bane that you had the pedigree factor while competing in Miss Universe Philippines? Um, I think. Well, having that pedigree factor in general, it was something that, I mean, to be completely honest, it was something that I never really thought about because I was just focused on being myself and showing how I can, how I can be and finding how I can shine in, in my own way. But of course, you know, it was helpful that I was associated to Tita Margie, especially in the beginning, because <laughs> it it honestly gave me a little bit more screen time. For example, with the with the pageant bloggers, the pageant pages, they you know they'd want to interview me and ask me about Tita Margie sometimes because of course, right? But it was helpful in that way. But also at the same time, it was something that motivated me, probably in the back of my head, that you know. Um, it, it, it motivated me in a way that not only was I related to somebody who was able to achieve such an amazing thing, but at the same time, I knew that she supported me. And that, that in itself already made me feel like I had a chance, you know, I had a chance to really shine in this. And I did. I believe that I did. All right. So, yeah, to true yan. Ako, I would also feel and do the same thing then. I would really, you know, parang be so proud that I have an aunt for Miss Universe and I would, you know, ask for tips from her. Yeah. When it comes to how to my game plan strategy. So, ma'am, shifting, uh, Bella, Miss Margie, shifting gears. Um, Miss Margie, I'm curious to ask, back in the day kasi, there was, there were, I'm curious to ask, how are you preparing for a contest like Miss Universe? Because there were no glam teams, training camps to prepare you for oh. international pageants. That's just how we are doing right now. There were no social media, lalo pa. So, uh, ma'am, malaki ba? Were you on your own doing everything, preparing for Miss Universe? Yeah, I was on my own. And it was also martial law in Greece at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was not as strict as strict uh, as as in the Philippines at that time. So I just learned how to put my makeup. Uh, I just practice walking with the book on my head, and uh, <laughs> I just did things on my own. Oh, and, on your uh, own, on my own, and and I just read a lot. That was uh, I, I I read the newspapers, so I knew current events, and. Uh, I read books and then I I was always stunning myself. At the time, I was stunning myself with Coca Cola. <laughs> Coca. <laughs> so uh -huh. that, that, that was the that was the, the uso then at that time. And you you tan with Coca Cola, while 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 fanning yourself with all the flies that you're attracting. Mm -hmm. oh my so, God. <laughs> Talaga, ma'am, di ko alam, pwede pala yung Coca-Cola for a tan spray. You have a bronze skin. Pero, I should try that. Ano yun? Hindi ka naman nangangamoy Coke, ma'am, when you were walking down the ramp. No, I only did that in Manila before I left. So, 
you would go to the Hyatt because I was also a Hyatt model. So you would, oh. uh, uh, the models would go to the swimming pool and then we would tan with Coke. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, okay. Or we would mix baby oil with, co with Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, you know naman how Bella was very hands-on with her gowns. Yung blue gown niya, even her preliminary gown. Were, were you also the one who chose your gown for Miss Universe? Yung white na may rose? Uh, no, uh, that was Oji Cordero was my, my was my uh, fashion designer at the at the time, and uh, he was um, he was the one who brought me to the pageant. So he made my whole wardrobe, and my terno was also done by Ario Alonso. Mm. So, ma'am, ano yon? Parang uh, yung design nun was your idea. Na parang you wanna wear something elegant. Tapos your hair up is in a bun, high bun, para to make you look long on stage. Yeah. Ni mga ganun ka rin, ano. I, I wore uh, the, the terno for my national costume. And that was the difference between the pageants before. The, the national costume was a real national costume. So it was, the, it was what you, were, you would wear in your country. Now it's like a carnival. Yes. You, know, you did yes. carnival of them come with, the, with wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so true, ma'am. No, Bella, on you, you naman, given that social media is very present during no, it's very, uh, it's a very powerful tool in a competition like Miss Universe nowadays. So, you know, were you affected by everything that you have been receiving, whether good or bad comment, or does it, or does even criticism make you second guess? Well, it's not easy, definitely, to ignore both the good. I mean, even the bad. But of course, the good was always something that helped me. But, you know, personally, I'm not... Oh, he disappeared. But I'll continue to answer. Yeah, yeah. Personally, I'm not... I'm not a very uh, social media type person. I enjoy it because I like to connect with my friends. But when it started to become sort of the bread and butter of the pageant, definitely it wasn't easy. Um, and of course, I, I, I've always understood that everybody has their own personal opinions and preferences. But, you know, there's this one saying that out of 10 comments, uh, if, if one comment is negative out of 10 positive comments, you won't be able to really let go of that one negative comment. Yes, and yes. That's, now I understand why a lot of previous queens say don't read comments. I understand uh -uh. now, you know, <laughs> but... Um, yes, it was hard not to not to think about it and not to let it get to me, especially because I wasn't really used to being, I guess, being so under the microscope, under under everybody's watch. And and although I I have been able to adjust, I've been able to, I've been able to filter what comments are useful to me and what comments I should just let go of. And uh, despite it being a challenge, I take it as something that has allowed me to exercise my mental strength. It's, it's allowed yes. me to exercise, you know, knowing what I should take in and what I shouldn't. And understanding that in the end of the day, I know myself best. So social media can be good, but it also can be bad. So it's about filtering it out. Yeah, you have to develop that kind of mental fortitude, though, in order to persevere in a competition like Miss Universe Philippines, no? Yes. And I like that you're also a mental health, a mental health advocate. Mm -hmm. So yeah. at least you, you know you know what to do to handle yourself in times when you're being, you know, at the, when you're having anxiety attacks with everything that you've been reading, right? Yeah. So I Miss mean, Margie, knowledge hey, is, sorry, knowledge. Yeah, just go, go, go. Say, knowledge is it's it helps but there's nothing like experience so i knew the basics of it but i only really learned when i experienced it true so yeah so miss mar um miss margie hearing bella said uh, about how you know social media has been such a powerful tool in a competition like miss universe ikoba ma'am would you think you would have survived miss universe 1973 had social media been big at that time now everyone is scrutinizing you from head to foot. <laughs> well, uh, you shouldn't define yourself with what you read, what other people tell you. If, if you can take things, criticism with a grain of salt, you are able to filter also what you can take in, what you can absorb and not 
you 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 uh, accept that uh, only if it is something that is, that is good for you but uh, you have to be able to control what you also read and not everything that you read is is true actually and so you just have to uh maybe gloss over it or and so that you know what people are saying about you and and so that you can also control yourself in what in the way you converse with other people but you shouldn't define yourself in uh in you just have to be yourself and just be honest about yourself true ma'am true for sure the 19 year old miss margie moran would have probably i know would have been a responsible social media influencer <laughs> for sure <laughs> for sure mom no so mom last few questions uh, i hate to keep you any longer it's almost lunch time last few questions miss margie were you able to watch her perform uh the coronation i mean the finals the finals day during that sunday no october 25 with the rest of the universe yes so, yes i watched were, it how were you feeling? Were you more nervous when you competed or when your niece was competing? <laughs> yeah, of course, I was nervous. I wanted her to win. <laughs> and, 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 and what made me nervous is that she was always the last one to be called. Pa. <laughs> so, Anil, you were on the edge. But I also saw it as a sign that, that uh, they're making it... Um, making it more exciting for the audience to to feel if she was the last to record because she she might be the winner mm -hmm. yeah true no because usually ito, i don't know if you'll agree with me miss margie or bella pero yung mga favorites usually it's either napapansin ko tinatawag sa simula sa start ng roll call or sa yeah. dulo for That's more true. audience impact no yeah. <laughs> but ma'am what are your thoughts on bella's performance during during the finals night Oh, I, she was perfect. I mean, her her walk, her projection, the way she answered all the questions. So I think was was very good. Thank you. Because I, I, really, I really feel she really outshined and outwitted everyone else during that time. Oh, just just my opinion. That's why <laughs> she made it all the way. To second place, because alam mo, especially mom, ako, I'm so in love. Uh, I'm so in love with her blue gown. Mm -hmm. She was able yeah. to um to do her tornado twirl. Dalang beses she. It's her signature walk already, mom. Have you noticed? Did you coach yeah. her about it? Uh, no, Miss Margie, <laughs> you did not. I, Very well. I, I, I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> pero so pero pena. Yeah, it was a perfect move. That was so great. She was so graceful on stage. Yeah, she's a ballerina. Yeah. So she yeah. can, yes. If I was her age, I would have done it. I could have done it. Yeah, but, uh, but Ben, it wasn't a conscious effort for you to incorporate your ballerina skills and showcase a gown that can uh, allow you to make fluid movements on stage. Yeah, well, that's, that's Bella, talaga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yes, it's at some point it comes natural, but at the same time, when even when I'm dancing ballet, it's always a conscious effort to to make sure you're doing the right things, to make sure you're taking enough steps to get to where you need to be. In in my case, during the finals, the, the evening gown, um, the, the dress was quite long, so I had to be very conscious about not stepping on it so that I wouldn't trip. So even if I'm, uh, I'm very used to the stage, um, I'm still thinking about the technicalities. Okay, I, for example, I had to make sure I lifted my dress high enough so that I don't step on it, make sure I turn strong enough so that my dress spreads, but at the same time, making it look effortless, you know? So ballet helps with that because ballet, especially um, when you're in the mind of a ballerina, you know, she's thinking about steps, she's thinking about how high her leg needs to go. She's thinking about how many turns she needs to make on the next, in, on the next cue but when you look at her it looks like she's just dancing naturally and enjoying and that's the, that's the beauty of the training of ballet because i was able to apply that on stage no matter how difficult it was to do, do the double turn i still showed it as if it was something that i did every day yeah because okay. in ballet in ballet you learn to spot so when you're yeah. spotting it's like when you're turning and your head is left behind because you're spotting so that's yeah. 
that's the the beauty of the turn. Yes. True. True. Your head, uh, your, your head is not turning with your body. It's like, it's like it's nahuhuli. True. <laughs> So, be, so even yung gown mo, Bella, sorry, I have just have to say this. Ang ganda kasi parang it was my, not, ma'am, have you seen the design of her gown, yung blue gown? Ano siya, no? Yes. Uh, um, yes. Rarely do I see a candidate on stage wear a design like that na parang medyo two-piece and the thing, expre, uh, exposing her torso. So, um, was it, does it have something to do with uh, being a ballet dancer than to make you long on stage? That's why you chose that kind of design. Well, actually, for the blue gown, um, well, I actually, for that gown, I collaborated with Fernamato with that, with the design. Oh, yes. And I, he actually came up with the two, the two piece idea and even the color. That was his idea. But the, the, the material, the tool of the skirt, that was my idea because it, it, you, that's what, that's the material that we use in our ballet costumes and our tutus. And, I was telling him that not only, of course, is it a beautiful material, but it's also something that I'm used to. It's something that I'm used to moving around. I'm used to dancing or performing with. So it was the perfect. It was the perfect result, in my opinion, because it was such a uniquely beautiful gown, and I feel like it really brought out my personality and who I wanted to be that night. Yeah. So, mom. No doubt, you should really shown that night. So, so, ma'am, what's your advice to Bella now that she's about to start her reign palang as Miss Universe Philippines first runner-up? Well, I told her to enjoy whatever she's doing. She's got, she has to love it, just to like it, just to like people and uh, standing long hours, you know, wearing high heels. Just it, That's uh, something that you would want to do and then... Continue to educate yourself and also uh, just be conscious of what opportunities that will come your way. Because sometimes you, you bypass it not without thinking that this is going to be, or it will be something that will help you in the future. You just have to be conscious of uh, all those opportunities. Mm -hmm. Seize the day. Card yeah. the year. You, you, Bella, how do you intend to uh, fulfill your duties as Miss Universe Philippines first runner-up? As Miss Universe Philippines first runner-up, of course, I'm always here supporting my sister, Abia Mateo, Miss Universe Philippines, and of course, my fellow runners-up. I'm here as a person of support, but at the same time, somebody that people can look up to. That, you know, in my, in my experience itself, even if you don't win, you're still a winner because you still you were still able to do everything that you wanted to do you were able to show people who who you are and you were rewarded for that so i would love to be somebody that people can look up to and for myself of course like tita marley said i'm loving it i'm loving every minute of it and i'm thankful for every opportunity that has come so far and everything that's about to change and i'm very excited so i am moving forward with a very thankful heart uh uh on that note um <laughs> uh last few questions what before that um there's a comment here from my viewer abish mercado she says bella has the most seamless performance and styling since the press performance and runway challenge she can she continued to wow us and surprise us she's really unpredictable oh, so yeah <laughs> yeah so, so much so mom um last question Alan. can you um I hope you don't mind. Could, could you, um, could, can you give a message to one another kung, uh, how much love and support you have shown throughout each other during Bella's comp uh, entire Miss Universe Philippines run? But how, um, can, can you really put it into words how proud you are po talaga, ma'am, for having a niece like Bella who is really fulfilling, I mean, uh, following your footsteps? to become an international beauty pageant title holder? Well, uh, for Bella, I, I feel that uh, you have done so well and that uh, you use it as a stepping stone for what you want to do in the future. And uh, whatever you do, you'll have, you have to pray every morning that, that you can, you'll always uh, do the right thing, guide you that uh, you will say the right thing and to be a good influence and a model to people in your own good way 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah. No. Especially promote your ad whatever advocacy that you have, you have to promote that. Mm -hmm. Mental health awareness, no? <laughs> True. What about you, Bella? How grateful are you for your nieces and your entire clan support, di ba? Century 2 na binibining Pilipinas para niya, and now Miss Universe Philippines. I'm so thankful, you know, my family, everybody has always been so supportive. Through this very minute, they're messaging me about something related to Miss Universe Philippines. And it has, I have been very blessed with such a supportive family. Um, some girls are not, are, don't have that sometimes, you know, fam some families are not really for it. Like in Tita Margie's case, her dad didn't want her to join. Um, but, you know, I, I'm very, I'm very lucky, especially because this is something that I've dreamt of for a long time. And my parents especially, but everybody has been supporting me and pushing me towards getting here. So I'm thankful. And Tita Margie, thank you so much for always, always, always being so supportive of my dreams. Um, we don't see each other as often as I'd like, but hopefully that changes. And I'm very thankful to have you on my side yes. always, fighting for me. And thank you for always also giving me the best advice that applies to me from your experience and from what you've experienced in the past also. So thank you so much. I love you. Uh... I wish I, I, I wish I'm part of your clan. Wala lang. Ha, <laughs> we'll adopt you, Adam. <laughs> we'll adopt you. <laughs> we'll adopt you. <laughs> Talaga po. Oh my God. Wow. Gumanda, parang gumanda ako ng ano, bonggang bongga suddenly. So, with that said, ma'am, thank you, Miss Bella, Ismael, and Miss Margie Moran for being with us today. Once again, thank, thank you, you to all the viewers. Thank you for all the viewers who are tuned in. Ma'am, thank you so much po talaga for allow Bella to Sir Christus for making this possible. Once again, thank you for joining us today. My name is Adam Hinato, and it has been such I had such a wonderful time doing this interview. Thank you so much. Of course, powered by PLDT Home. Thank you, thank you so much, Miss Margie. Stay safe and hydrated. Bella, thank you so much. I couldn't stress enough how 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 grateful I am for making this interview possible. Miss Margie, no it's Adam. it. Can it has been again. Yes, sana ano gawa kayo ng ano parang book together. <laughs> Yung parang book, parang tip from aunt to to her knees, the, <laughs> parang how to become a Miss Universe Philippines, di ba? Kasi yeah. kanda, no? Sige, ma'am. On that note, stay, yun na, I won't keep you any longer. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Bella. Thank, Thank you, you, Bella. Thank you, Miss Margie. Thank you so much. Thank you, Margie. Bye. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.